I just wanted to make this um, this video to talk about the, uh, the European Union and um, I think with the, the European uh, Union referendum for Britain just around the corner, that's just over a month away now. Um, <clears throat> the thing I'm finding more and more when I talk to people is a lot of people don't seem to sort of to fully sort of understand what the EU actually is or how um, staying in the EU or leaving the EU will actually sort of affect them. Um, so I wanted to make this video to talk about um, primarily why I think the European Union is a bad thing. Um, not just for Britain, but for every single country in the European Union, and why I think we should leave. Um, so yeah, but firstly, um, to talk about the European Union itself, what it actually is. Um, the European Union, was European Union was created in 1951, and it was originally it was supposed to be um, it was just about trade. It was, um, that was what it was supposed to be just about. It was to be about um, making trade easier between the countries of Europe, and um, that's certainly what Britain thought they were signing up to in 1975, when we, we did have a, a European um, well, we had a a referendum about um, what was called the Common Market. It was supposed to be about a, a free trade agreement with between us and the rest of the European Union to make trade easier and cheaper for us to trade with each other. Um, there was no mention of a political union or anyone having um, the power to make sort of laws for us or anything like that. Um, that's so the British people voted yes. They they wanted the uh, free trade arrangement um, in 1992. Um, U, uh, Britain and um, every country within the European Union um, signed the Maastricht Treaty. The Maastricht Treaty gave the European Union a whole host of, of new powers over us, um, including our, um, you know, our immigration policy, our asylum policy, our criminal justice system, um, and a whole new rules and regulations that we had to sign up to. Um, and we're in a situation now where the, um, political, where the European Union has political power over us. Um, and there's a lot of arguments now about the percentage, whether it's 55%, 65%, some to take 75 or 85% of our, our laws now that are um, they're made um, by the European Union. Um, and whatever you argue about the percentages, I think the fact that any percentage at all of our laws are made by the European Union, not our own elected parliament, um, is, a, you know, is, is a really, really bad thing. Um, so I think that's, that's the main point I want to sort of um, focus on, is, is the democracy issue. I think in, in the past, before the European Union, we always elected our own government, and our government had, you know, we elected the people to run us, and they would make our laws for us and, and, and run the country. And if they did a bad job, the people, as democracy works, we could sack them. I think the key point with the European Union um, is firstly that British people, or indeed anyone in Europe, ever actually, never actually agreed to it. Um, we, we never agreed to hand, hand over our sovereignty and, um, to the European Union. And that's never a question, never what the British public have been asked until now. So it's something to really, really think about. It's why it's really, really important, this referendum. Um, because the European Union is, is under, um, undemocratic. A lot of people sort of argue and say, oh, but it has a parliament that we elect and everything. You know, um, but firstly, it's, it's um, the people we actually elect, the MEPs, the members of the European Parliament, they can't actually create laws for us. They don't um, enact or sort of attract legislation. They just vote on what the, the new laws that the EU Commission make. And the EU Commission are the ones that actually, I mean a lot of the time the MEPs, um, I know there's MEPs that have been there, but they actually even know what they're voting on. They just say yes or no to the laws that are um, being proposed. And individual countries have very little power to actually block anything. I think um, the recent sort of um, study that's talked about was that uh, 75 times but in, in the last um, five years Britain have tried to block legislation and 75 times they failed to, they've been outvoted. Um, but yeah, so the, the European Parliament doesn't actually have any real power, it's a sort of show parliament, the actual power to make legislation, make new laws for uh, you know, the whole of the European Union, indeed Britain, it comes from the Commission. And the Commission is unelected. There are 28 commissioners in the European Union um, and every country gets one. But the British public don't elect these people, and we cannot, we can't sack these people. Um, and I think that's that's the key point. That's a really, really, really huge thing because I mean a lot of, I mean I don't even think, even think the public know who who their commissioners are. Um, it's like you have no idea how to get rid of them. And they, the European Union comes up with new laws and regulations every single day by the thousands. Um, and so now all the European countries are incredibly regulated, which, which sort of massively hinders the, all of our economies, um, and it massively hurts business. Um, I mean, there was a recent sort of documentary and it was about the European Union and it was showing about sort of, even sort of simple things like fridges or, or carpets or sofas, there are so many regulations that if you build any of these items within the European Union, you have to follow to, make you, uh, to comply with EU law. 
So you have to spend an absolute fortune making sure that all your products are EU compliant, and making sure that all your businesses are EU compliant, whether or not you can afford to. Um, and you know, obviously, sometimes there are some legislation is good. Some legislation protects us, you know, to make products safe and things like that. But I mean, for example, there's I think it's 400 um, uh, regulations if you're making a toaster, um, which is absolutely crazy that businesses have to follow regulations like that. It, it's costly, and it, it really, really hurts our economies. And I think at the moment you've got a situation where all of the other, you know, a lot of the other countries outside of you know. Um, in the Far East and um, places like that are doing really, really well. And the European Union is really, really starting to struggle. You look at Italy, Portugal, Greece. Um, so the EU massively hurts us, and, and we can't, we can't um, do anything about it. All this legislation that's coming through, we, we can't stop any of it. The British government is powerless to stop it, and we're powerless to stop it, because we can sack the British government, but we can't sack the European Union, because it's not democratic. So we're stuck. Um, so yeah, I think that's why the European Union is really, really bad. And I think the only way to get back um, our democracy, and the key point being the power to make our own laws and to you know to stop legislation, you know, to, to not have legislation if we don't want it, is to um, is to leave the European Union. The other key point that mentioned a lot with me, people talk to me a lot about, is that they're worried about trade. You know, the European Union was originally um, we signed up for the European Union, um, you know, as, as a trade deal, and people say, well, I'm very, very worried that we'll lose trade with the European Union if, if we leave. Um, the reason that's not true is the we actually the European Union sells more to us than we sell to them. And the idea that Germany is something going to stop selling us all their Mercedes and all the other products and that you know, Europe sells to us is just complete nonsense. Um, we don't need a trade deal to trade with Europe, um, but it would be helpful to have one. And I believe that they definitely would want one in the event of them leaving the European Union. And people say, oh well, it, you know, it took them nine years or six years, whatever it was, to get one with Canada. Um, well, Canada is nowhere near as big a trading partner with them as we are. It would be done very, very fast because they would be losing a lot of money. Um, so I believe a trade deal would happen very quickly. Even if it didn't, we'd still be able to trade with them. But it, it, it would because they sell more to us than we sell to them. So they rely on us more than for trade than we rely on them. We do most of our trade with the rest of the world. So um, that's nothing to be afraid of. I think if we leave the European Union, our trade with the European Union will not be affected. We'll be a, if we do leave the European Union, we've got to get our democracy back. We'll be a free, democratic nation once again able to create our own laws and be completely democratic. So I think that's the key point um, to remember when, when voting on the June 23rd, the only way to get our democracy back is to leave the European Union.